Hi, I'm Marcy with Hot Springs Happenings, and we are here again with one of our favorites, Rob Pratt. Good to see you, Marcy. Good hey. to be here. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And I'm drinking well, you know that you're my friend, and I'll say, I think I'll have myself a beer. We are talking about uh, the second annual <laughs> craft beer festival coming to Hot Springs. I am so excited. This is our second year for the beer festival. We had overwhelming response last year mm -hmm. and are going again and uh, learned an awful lot of lessons. We've been just going. It's really popular. This is the don't miss event of the year. Yeah, I, I agree. Absolutely. I agree. Um, so tell us, um, tell us about your vendors this year and your food. Well, we've got... Our, our motto preparing for this has been bigger and better, mm -hmm. and we've got bigger and better. We are, we've got more breweries as of right now. Uh, 64 breweries will be represented, nice. and they'll all bring several different beers. It'll be well over 250 different beers. Right on. So people come in and get their ticket, come in and have at it. So if you had like one sip of each beer, that'd be like 250 sips. Like You couldn't do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't do it. Each sample is supposed to be two ounces. Uh -huh. so, oh, yeah. You know. That's like our pa like power of our, our power. Yeah, it's just what not going to happen. But, power uh, of power and spring break. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want people doing that. But it's not just beer. We've got a, a lot of food vendors. A lot of local restaurants will be there. Mm -hmm. um, Vina Marita, Buffalo Wild Wings, Copper Penny, Fat Jacks. Uh, uh, Steinhaus Keller, mm -hmm. and I'm sure I'm missing a few, and then we're going to sign up a few more by then. And then something else we're doing that's a little bit different is including vendors that kind of fit what we're doing here. Uh, we've got Kent Walker, artisan cheese maker out of Little Rock, and I really don't know what artisan cheese is, but gourmet cheese. Mm -hmm. I've got a gourmet chocolate maker that's going to be there. Nice. Um, different things along those lines it's not a flea market and people certainly aren't going to go shopping okay but just different things to get people involved it's really cool and and uh, a lot of fun cool uh, so tell us where is this going to be held it's in the convention center hot springs convention center we've actually expanded to two halls this year we're in the a and b hall people like their beer well, people like their beer, and, <laughs> and we're in such a good position here in Hot Springs. A uh, uh, big mm -hmm. thanks to, to the, all the crew at Visit Hot Springs and the Convention Center. But with the two halls, what we're able to do is have a lot of room to spread out. So mm -hmm. many beer festivals, they have to take up the space. But we've got uh, tables and seating where people can relax. Uh, I've got it set up now. For, there'll be over 150 seats, so at one time, 150 people can take a break and go, whew. <laughs> Eat their food and do whatever they want to do. Uh, it's just going to be a lot of fun. Great. Okay. And so, tell us where do they? What what kind of website can we go to? Uh, to well, then go to tickets. hands down the best craft beer festival site around, and that's hscraftbeerfest.com. Shout out to Bert Clevenger, my web guy is okay. is phenomenal. Everything's on there. You can get your tickets on there. There'll be a map of the festival, a map of Hot Springs. Um, there's a link to go to the Austin Hotel and take advantage of a special reduced room rates. Mm -hmm. um, there's a beer festival prep guide to how to get you to have more fun at the festival. Um, eat beforehand. Eat beforehand, <laughs> drink a lot of water, hydrate, and, and pace yourself. Right, right. But, but it's kind of funny. I've seen people, they, 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 there's a lot of different ways, believe it or not, to go to festivals. Some people walk in and really have no idea, and they just, boom, they go crazy, and they go all over the board. Mm -hmm. There's some people who have their list, will have a map of where all these brewers are. Right. And they'll have a list. I'm going to go to this one. I'm going to go to this one, and they'll mark that off. Oh, I'm OCD. That, was, that, that would be what I would be. Like, well, and and that's the way a good number of them do it. And then there's others the way I do it, or I have done it in the past. I'll yeah. pick a particular style. Uh -huh. Like somebody, if you're an IPA fan, well, I'm going to go find me a great IPA. Mm -hmm. So they go around and try all these different IPAs. Yes. Uh, everybody who comes in gets a, a little notebook and a pencil so they can, yeah, I like that one. Ooh, that was not so good. Mm -hmm. uh, a sample <laughs> cup uh, that they get to take home, a little sample mug with the logo. and 
I'd like to see, like, somebody's notebook when they start and then when they get to the end of it, by the end of it. Well, there's a group coming from Little Rock. They have uh, the Little Rock Brew Bus. Oh, yeah. And they drive around to all the craft breweries there in Little Rock, and they're Mm -hmm. coming over to bring a group of people. And I told them that I want a video set up on the bus facing the the back of the bus (laughs) for the ride home. So put that up on YouTube. Um, tell us about the VIP passes. We have a VIP pass. I'm very proud of that. There's uh, several beer festivals in the state. Our VIP pass is unique. Mm-hmm. People get in early. Uh, they'll get a glass, sample glass, a real nice glass. Um, but the main thing about the VIP, uh, they'll get special food that's in there. But the main thing is they'll be able to get beer that's not normally available in the state of Arkansas. Right. We reached out. We got our tentacles out. And we'll have beer that's... That you can't go to the store and buy, you can't go to a restaurant and get. So, you know, a lot of the real beer geeks that just want to try different stuff will be able to get something that they, you know, that, that they can't get here. And, and who knows what they do after that. But So what what are your favorites? Uh, I, I <laughs> don't pref- tell everybody because they'll I, be gone. I, I, well, no. Go I ahead, prefer stouts. I'm not, I, I don't get stuck on brands. I, I try to try all the stouts and the porters and... Um, IPAs are extremely popular now. Are you going to have some good happies? There will be several of them. Great, great. Yep, yep. Anything else you want to talk about? Uh, I appreciate your support. and appreciate y'all, y'all uh, helping us out and uh, yeah. encourage people to come out. Uh, don't drink and drive. Mm-hmm. We have designated driver tickets if you want to bring somebody who doesn't and drink. Don't bring roofies and roofie anybody. And don't do that either. <laughs> Better yet. Get a room at the Austin yeah. with the discounted room rates. Mm-hmm. Just stroll on over. See, what I thought's cool about that, the uh, the festival starts at 6 o'clock. So you can go park at, at 5.30, go into the festival at 6, go uh, do whatever you want to do, spend the night at the Austin. You don't have to leave. You don't have to drive until the next morning. Awesome. So good thing there. And then we've got a lot of support from the vendors from downtown, several of the restaurants, the Ohio Club mm-hmm. and Fat Jack's and... And a number of things. So, so we're excited. We're including a lot more people this year. All right, great. Check it out. Uh, say it again, the website one more HS time. HSCraftBeerFest.com. Right. And, th- and this is a fundraiser for the Spa City Blues Society. Yeah, I was so, about to say, so, yeah. this is our emperor, yeah. CEO of the Spa City Blues yeah. Society, Rob Brown. President. <laughs> President of the Spa City Blues Society with us today at Hot Springs Happenings. Thank you so much.